everybody. Carl here. Welcome back to Aeronautica. A few hours ago, the game has been updated to version 1.70.3. So in this version, there's a new aircraft, the Grumman AA-5B by Kizo. And Dio has updated the Airbus A400M Atlas model, as well as adding GPWS callouts. Yorkshire has updated the existing container ships with many colors of containers, and there should be additional mouse tax information to the vehicles in the dealership and the database. They have also fixed holes in the collisions at Anhedro City Airport and a possible fix of jobs at Lineham Air Force Base being out of order. So let's first go to Oh how slow is this? I joined the server saved at Anhedral International. And here's the Aerospatial British Aircraft Corporation Concorde. Let's lower the quality just to gain more. S Let's do it half quality. Come on, half quality. All right. So let's start going to Hampton Field. Let's select the the BD BD five B. And it's sunrise at Hampton. It's a little island. What's this, memory leak? Alright, so let's check the dealership and see what this new aircraft is. Some kind of trainer aircraft. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, here it is. This is our Tiger. Let's increase the quality to full. Aircraft wide. Then jet black and aircraft gray. And here's the Tiger. Trainer aircraft. A bit of reflectance. The Grumman AA-5B Tiger.
Now, where is our container ship? The Empire class container ship. Five colors. Red, yellow, green, blue, and white. And unlike Titanium Sky Crane, there's none of the wavy texture. Let's take the comparison. So this is Titanium Titanium's model of the Sky Crane. Look at the container box. and solid. And look at, let's check the database and find that other container ship, the Everest class. Six. So it's red, orange, green, blue, indigo, and white. And the containers are still don't have their wavy texture on the sides. All right, so let's find our Atlas. Our Atlas is at Lionham Air Force Base. Well done, Dio. Very beautiful. Just as I wanted. Yellow lines on the blades. We might take this for a spin in a future video. So what do you mean by out of order? Oh, there's the mock loop. Yeah, that. So demonstration at the top. Yeah, I think it's still out of a bit out of order. The transports are at the top. There's mock loop in between them. The demonstration is purple, and supply drops and cargo flights are below, so I think it's supposed to be that the uh, air show demonstration is uh, below and the mock loop right directly on top. So let's check the color scheme of the the new Atlas by Dio and then we'll We'll use aircraft gray as in reality. So color one is the fuselage and color two oops should be one thirty three. The color two is the T tail stabilizer and the engines. And finally, number three, the wings.
the Airbus A400M Atlas. Oh, where's Line Hump? All right. Here we go. So as you can see, you can see it's originally white, but this looks realistic in a way, the Atlas. If the back doors can be open and closed, super great. But here it is, the Airbus A400M Atlas. All right, so let's check the air traffic control. We're here at Lineham. So what did they mean by that sign there? Um, oh yes, I have to, uh, there should be a nearby plane somewhere, but let's, let's turn off the radar and uh, let's see. Let's see the runway 717. Yeah. Okay. We'll try this some we'll try this. Alright, yes, the additional mouse text. So, so, uh, let's see, uh what do they have? Here, yes, the rarity value. But yeah, this is a craftable plane. <laughs> it this shouldn't <laughs> it shouldn't be restocked anywhere in any airport in the game. But yeah, this is the Antonov A Sorok. It's still military green, and it still has the restock chance, even though it's a craftable vehicle. But the BD-5B, yes, it's uncommon, which is the restock chance is the usual 10%. And yes, as like the Icon A5, it can has some additional functions. It can do supply drops. And its restock chance is 33. So in order, it's the white, it's always on stock. The green, 33, yellow, which is 10%, then there's the, okay, yes, uncommon, the rare chance, it's 2%, the Kyushu J7W Shinden, well, technically in Japanese, it's only Shinden. The stock chance is at 2%. It can do the... Any kind of military job, the mock loop, the, the hardened race. Yeah, like, yeah, the racing job and airstrike, such as the precision target strike. Then the blue one, like the Spirit of St. Louis, which is... Basically, it's a status symbol plane for now. And the restock chance has been somewhat increased by 1%. I think it used to be 
half a percent, 0 0.5. But now they just increase it to a full 1%. So this one, it's invite us at Harden. And then next one is blue, which is, yeah, blue is 1%. Yes, orange. So no, the the mil v donut set is a craftable plane, but for the purposes of checking, the restock transfer cycle is an absolute zero. Well, yes, it's, normally it's one-tenth of a percent, 0 0.1. And yes, it's. I think they just rounded it off. They they rounded this off to like the nearest decimal or the nearest once place. So you would see it's the restock per cycle is not half a percent, but one percent. And yes, it's yes, it's the Milvid one not set. It shouldn't be sold in any airport dealership here. But let's try the other multi engine. The no, the Hughes is also craftable. So, yeah, the C star, the word, you can't really also buy it in any airport. Yeah, the H4, that's craftable. Yep, 1% craftable. Here. So, should we have a percent? The Anton of An stored what sat shotiri. You buy this at Levitsk. Have a percent. And then epic status. <laughs> okay, epic. Okay, so there's already epic, epic status. They call it epic instead of uh. <laughs> so the Alexeyev horrible market, KM. You can buy this in North Yashiv. And the restock chance is not none, is no chance, but one tenth of a percent, 0.1 percent. And then the Arador R's Y100 Fino Dicing C, that's, um, that's, that shouldn't be, it's, it's supposed to be a, uh, Convertible variant of the B variant, but yes, it's. I think they fix. I think they somehow fix it in a. In the following two patches, we're in the original one point seventy point three, by the way. So. Yes, uh, crossable the uh, Piatis yacht. The bit twisty. It's. Ten percent. Yep, craftable. Dreamlifter, 2%, the 7478s, yes, the B-52 Strato Fortress, that's half a, half a percent chance of appearing at Eisenhardt. The Galaxy, that's also half a percent at Eisenhardt. Yes, the Blackbird is craftable. <laughs> and yes, the Nyashishib and Piatisya Dwa. Yes, it should be one tenth, one tenth. My favorite plane, the B2 Spirit. Should be half a percent. As well as the B1, it's also half a percent. Again, it's it's the first release of the update, so they might have patched it. Yep, as well as the, uh, the supersonic transports. I wonder why would they use the Bristol and the uh, Super Caravelle instead of the. Uh, Concord prototypes, 001 and 002. 
and the small windows as usual never get sold yes it should be uh should have been better if it's the either one of the concord prototypes other than this concept only plane yeah the super caravel and uh, bristol and probably the divesti but yeah i think there's already a model of the divesti soroxitire But that's just me. All right. Yes, the the NNSBJ. That's uh, I think that's already been cancelled. Uh, but the Boom Works are yes, they have. It's still in development. The Hypermac. Oh yeah, it's it's a craftable plane as well. It's it's an ambitious task. Yep, the Blu-ray shows that. Blue Ready Plates at Levis, the Stol Soro Ketira De, S, the Visti, and yes, all, as always, the Air Force Provaloon is still here in this game. Har har. And the boats. Alright, so did I miss anything? Alright, and. Uh, this was just an overview of the new update, version 1.70.3. I'll see if they've actually fixed the the patches for... they fixed these issues in the next two or three patches, but... That's all for me, and see you on the next Aeronautica video.